Good morning everybody, it's Marcia from Oil Me, and today I want to talk to you about toxic free cleaning. Toxins and chemicals in our household products can be very harmful to to, uh, to our, our living to all living beings. And that's everyone. In this course, we will explore how to get these harmful constituents out of our home and the benefits of doing so. Are you ready? Toxic or toxin uh, free cleaning with essential oils. Cleaning protects our health in our homes, schools, and workplaces. But have been but ha but have you ever considered that the products you're using not now might be doing more than simply cleaning? Are they safe to inhale or come in contact with your skin? Household and cleaning products, including soaps, polishes, and grooming supplies, often contain harmful ingredients we call toxins. Have you ever heard of Dirty Dozen? There are 12 toxic ingredients you should avoid that are commonly found in cleansers and, pro and personal care products. By clicking on the, the flashing dots in the impacts below, you'll learn more about each of these toxins and pro the products they're, they're found in and, they, and how they used in many mainstream products and their suspected impacts on body and environment. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five... Six. I see six of them, so let's start. I'll click on this one here first. Okay. Sodium, I can't even pronounce this. Sodium lauris sulfate, commonly found in shampoos, shower gels, facial cleansers, household cleaning products, and dish soap. Okay, this next one. Try Closin. Suspected endocrine dis disruptors that has shown uh, to contribute to antibiotic uh, resistant bacteria found in antibacterial cosmetics, toothpastes, cleansers, anti you know deodorant. I can't even pronounce it. Anti perspirants. And the Canadian Medical Association has called for a ban in, in antibacterial co consumer products such as those containing tri triclosin. And the next one, DEA or DEA, DEA related ingredients. These components are used to create creamy and foamy products. They can cause actual toxicity and aquatic organisms and have potential for uh, bioaccumulation and they act as a pH adjuster in sunscreens, soaps, cleansers, shampoos, and moisturizers. Okay, next one. Uh, formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is what they use when you die to help keep your bones from or your body from deteriorating. It's a, it causes cancer. But formaldehyde releasing preservatives. These ingredients are used for preservatives in a wide range of cosmetics. They've known for slowly releasing small amounts of formaldehyde into the bloodstream, which can be linked to cancer. Consumer applications of formaldehyde include cosmetics. Resins used in wood products, vinyl flooring, plastics, permanent press fabrics, and toilet bowl cleaners. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Got two, two more left. Synthetic fragrances. Watch for any mix it, mixture of synthetic fragrance ingredients in cosmetics and laundry detergent or laundry products. Even in products marked as unscented, some fragrance ingredients can trigger allergies and asthma, have been linked to cancer and 
uh, neurotoxicity toxicity, and can be harmful to fish and other wildlife. And last one, coal tar dyes. These are artificial colors that include pepenidillion, P-P-H-E-N-Y-L-E-N-E-D-I-A-M-I-N-E. Okay, and any other colors listed in the, in the CL floor, uh, fl followed by the five di digits. Avoid these in cosmetics, processed foods, and hair dyes. Okay. The first steps to avoiding harmful toxins is to become aware of where they are commonly found. Continue to click on more information. So there's a few more here. I've got one right here. Click on that. BHA and BHT. These synthetic ingredients are used mainly to moisturizers and makeup as preservatives. They also harm the fish and other wildlife. The next one. D-I-B-U-T-Y-L. -I, I can't pronounce this other word either. P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E. Found in pylovinyl chloride plastic C P C P V C to render to flexible it flexible. Nail products such as solvent for dyes and plasterizer to prevent them from becoming brittle. Fragrance in many other co cosmetics. Fragrance recipes are considered trade secrets to manufacturers are not required to disclose fragrance chemicals in the list of ingredients. So, the next one is petro petroleum. I pronounced that one right. Petroleum is commonly known as mineral oil and petroleum jelly. The European Union classified petroleum as a car carcinogen carcinogen and restricts its use in cosmetics p eight p a h s in petroleum can also cause skin irritation and allergies you'll find petroleum used in hair products lip balms and lipsticks and moisturizers okay three more here they have PEG compounds, or PEGs, is the polyethanol gl uh, glycols, are petroleum-based compounds used in many cosmetic cream bases. PEGs could be con contaminated with one, one thousand four, or one comma four, one to four diacin, diacin which may cause cancer. They also contain thickeners, solvents, softeners, and moisture carriers. Okay. Uh, parabens. Suspected endocrine disruptors may be may, and may interfere with male productive functions. These preserve preserve preservation Ingredients are used in cosmetics, hydrogen products, food products, and pharmaceuticals. And then last but not least on this part, it says siloexins. Siloexins may disrupt the androgen, androgen uh, levels of our body, ultimately affecting hormone production as well as having a neg negative effect on our fraternity, 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 you know, when you try and get pregnant levels. I might not pronounce these words right, and I might not be the, the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm doing the best I can, and I'm hoping that you understand what I'm saying, and if I'm not getting it to you to understand it, 
comment so I can figure out a better way of communicating so you can understand what I'm going through. I don't want to do this for nothing. I'm doing this to help somebody because it's important. And they're found in cosmetics, hair products, deodorant creams, moisturizers, and facial treatments. Okay. Why are toxins harmful? They're easy absorption, the mass production, and too little testing. Now that you've you've aware of these issues, the next step is to make small and simple changes to eliminate toxins from your home. Take, take action. Toxin-free home. Trans, transition trans, Transitioning to a toxin-free, plant-based home is a lifestyle journey. And you and you can make changes over time. You can't do it all at once because no one has that kind of money. But a little bit of time, you know, and then you got it. And just replace it as you run out. Avoid products that include ingredients from the dirty dozen. Uh, start by replacing a product you use most frequently. This may be your household cleaner or even your hand soap. Focus on replacing products used on those who are most susceptible to them, children and family members with compromised immune systems can be more prone to helpful to harmful uh, effects on toxic chemicals. Um, Young Living Steve's product line is the best alternative to harsh ma mainstream cleansers and personal care necessities that are often filled with toxic chemicals. Each of these plant-derived cleaning products is pure enough for your family to, and strong enough for your life. And they have a, a, a wonderful line of these products. Uh, this video is already 12 minutes long. Uh, I'm going to tomorrow or sometime next week that I'm going to do a video on the product line. And I'll show you each of the products I have and I'll talk about them. Uh... And so you can learn the product line of the Thieves Household Cleaner, all the Thieves products that they have laundry soap, dish soap, toothpaste, dental floss, bar soap. Uh, I don't remember what all. The Household Cleaner, mouthwash, all kinds of things. And we'll, we'll continue this then. So this is the, the, the end for part one. And then I will continue part two next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you guys Monday. Ta-ta for now.